What's up guys, we're back with the latest Samsung scoop. Samsung has got some exclusive things which Apple could not have and which they absolutely needed. Like considering the launch difference between the Galaxy S21 and the iPhone 12, Apple should have included these features in their iPhone 12 lineup, but boy oh boy, what a difference only one month can make. We also have some new surprises with the Galaxy Z series. Apparently a brand new Folo phone is coming for the first time next year. We'll talk about that. We also have early benchmark for the S21 and S21 Plus all to be discussed in this video. Samsung is the only brand right now that has a LTPO 120Hz refresh rate display. The Note 20 Ultra and the Galaxy Fold 2 are the first and the only devices on the market right now with this tech. And because Apple couldn't have this tech, they scrapped the 120Hz feature of the iPhone 12 Pro and the Pro Max. And now there's another thing that Apple could have featured on their iPhones, but they just missed it by a one month time. Apple has a five nanometer A14 chip inside the iPhone 12 family but a 7 nanometer 5G modem. On the other hand, the Galaxy S31 will come not only with a 5 nanometer chip but also a 5 nanometer integrated 5G modem. This is going to minimize the battery drain noticeably compared to the 7 nanometer 5G chip that is inside the iPhone 12 series. Apple could have included the Qualcomm X60 modem but instead they stuck with the X55 and now Samsung has taken the opportunity with their Galaxy S21 lineup to make the 5G performance most efficient on any smartphone. Not just Samsung flagship phones, but also other Android phones that will be using the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chip will rock a modem fabricated on a 5 nanometer node. As reported earlier, Apple is about to face its toughest battle ever. Usually there's a 4 to 5 months gap between the iPhone and the next Samsung flagship, but this time around there's only one and a half month difference between the latest iPhones which were just launched in November and the S21 series coming in the early mid January. No matter how good the sales are of the iPhone 12 family right now, the S21 will for sure have a massive impact. Now apparently Samsung is making more foldable phones than just Galaxy Z Flip 2 or the Z Fold 2. According to UBI research, there will be a Galaxy Z Fold Lite model. This is going to be the first time Samsung is releasing a budget foldable phone so that more people can jump on this foldable era. According to the source, the Galaxy Z Fold Lite will have a 7 inch plus internal screen with a 4 inch plus outer screen. Interestingly, we have same display specification for the Z Fold 3. Samsung might be reducing the external screen size compared to the Z Fold 2's 6.2 screen. Not sure why Samsung is doing that but apparently they want to make the device thinner and lighter while at the same time have the ability to include S Pen. That could be the reason why Samsung might be decreasing the external screen size on the Z Fold 3. Now this article also mentioned that Z Fold 3 could very well have an under panel camera for the first time on any Samsung product. Also, we have leaked benchmark of the Galaxy S21 and S21 Plus. These are the Snapdragon 888 model and well, the scores are kind of disappointing. These are probably prototype devices, but still scores are quite a far behind than what was expected. So I think the multi-core score should at least be near 4,000 mark. Now Snapdragon 888 does go beyond benchmarks like the GPU comes with some console quality features like VRS, next level game touch, a huge upgrade to the camera ISP, 35% faster graphics, all that good stuff, but so far, nothing has translated to benchmarks. Exynos 2100, on the other hand, could score beyond 4000 according to Ice Universe. We'll see if the Exynos 2100 brings the same features as well, like the Snapdragon 888. It's gonna be a big fight. And last but not the least, One UI 3.0 update based on Android 11 is rolling out for the Galaxy S20 family, as well as the Galaxy S10 series. This has been the fastest roll out of the update in the recent times and we actually have a full list of all the devices that could receive the One UI 3.0 update and there's also a expected date mentioned as well so if you have one of these devices congratulations, you will get the Android 11 pretty soon. So that's all the latest news. I have to say, Apple could have secured a 5 nanometer 5G modem on top of their 5 nanometer A14 chip, but sadly that was not the case. Qualcomm has some exclusive stuff built for the next generation Android phones, something the iPhone 12 series doesn't have. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one.